Cole Goad from uh, Goad Family Angus. Uh, we run a Red, op Red Angus operation uh, from Cunnerall, Alberta, uh, just north of a million, about a half hour. Uh, we run uh, 130 uh, mama cows um, with about 60, 70% of those being uh, purebreds, uh, the rest being in the commercial. Uh, we're just getting into putting some uh, embryos into and uh, running that way with them, then also sell steer calves and heifer calves in the fall. Um, Market our bulls uh, privately off the farm every year. Uh, I've been selling about a dozen to 15 bulls every year off the farm. Uh, and, where we, and we also put a few select females into sales in the fall time, uh, including Red Round up in the northern uh, select sale in Camrose. Uh, currently, I'm the president of the Northern Alberta Angus Club and the president of the Canadian Red Angus Promotional Society. Uh, lots, lots of optimism in the industry. Uh, it's cool to see all the young people getting back into this industry and enjoying it, having fun, and it's become a family event again. My name's Travis Olson, and we operate Oli Farms just uh, southwest of Athabasca, about an hour north of Edmonton. Uh, we are uh, uh, purebred Angus breeders. We have about uh, just over a thousand purebred cows. Uh, we'll be breeding over a thousand purebred cows this summer, and we've got 550 commercials. Um, and uh, been very involved in the uh, the Angus business for uh, for the last 15 years. We market our bulls at the farm. Uh, we sell all two-year-old bulls uh, just southwest Athabasca, and it's uh, on the family day, Monday, February 16th. Uh, everybody's got lots of smiles on their face. It's very positive. Um, it, uh, you know. I, I don't think we can go too far wrong, wrong when the prices are like this. Uh, it's a very exciting time. Hi, I'm Sean Enright. I uh, manage Enright Farms in Renfrew, Ontario. Uh, we're a purebred limousine and Angus operation with uh, commercial cows as well. Um, we run about 70 purebred Angus cows and 250 uh, commercial cows on the side of that. Um, we uh, got into the Angus business about uh, in 2007 is when we first started. Um, we've been farming, well my parents started the operation in uh, 1986 so when they started getting the purebred limousine and then in 2007 we got into the Angus with the purchase of the Highland uh, Angus farm and Ajax, the herd there. Uh, ever since then we've been um, raising uh, show heifers and donor cows. Uh, we have a fall sale uh, every once uh, every two years usually. Um, this year we're having it October 31st uh, with Peter and Andy Voss out at Tweed, uh, Voss Vegas Angus. Uh, beside our sale we also sell uh, bulls, uh, year old bull breeding age bulls in the spring every year, uh, you know, to commercial buyers and uh, a few purebred operations. Um, we do quite a bit of showing. We go anywhere from southern Ontario out to western Canada or down in the states. We'll go to Louisville, Kentucky or uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, that's kind of the main um, I guess you'd say base for what we're doing here is we're quite active in the showing business and that's kind of what we're interested in is uh, raising uh, quality show heifers that can go out and compete but they'll also go out and you know drop a good calf and become a good donor cow. Doug Munton from uh, Lethbridge. Uh, we operate, my son and I operate Benchmark Angus. Uh, we ranch on the Milk River Ridge west of Warner. We have 100 purebred black cows late August and September and 100 red cows starting 1st of February and 200 black cows starting the 1st of February as well. Um, in order to facilitate the ultrasound uh, data and all that goes into that, we decided to go a little bit later with our bull sale this year. So uh, that's uh, taking place on April 15th and we're hoping that there's a few guys haven't bought bulls uh, by then. The cows that calve in the fall, uh, we sell those calves about middle of December 
and uh, we had some kind of special genetics in that sale. Uh, uh, we have the only uh, genetics from this uh, Gardner Angus Ranch Profit Bowl and they were very, very well accepted and uh, uh, we got along really, really well at that sale. Doug Allen, uh, we're from Tabor, Alberta. We uh, run the purebred Angus operation known as Allen Croft Angus. I've been a, a breeder personally for 50 years this year and uh, we run this time roughly 100 cows. Uh, we have our own bull sale along with Border Butte Angus, which is my middle daughter and her husband, Cindy Dale Bosch. What I call the culls uh, that don't make the breeding program, we market them directly as, as beef. Free frozen beef directly to uh, consumers. We have a <laughs> built a clientele over the years and uh, that's what we do with that. Welcome to Gilchrist Farms. My name is Brad Gilchrist uh, and I own and operate Gilchrist Farms here with my wife Christy, uh, my parents Grant Denise Gilchrist and my sister Jessica Gilchrist. Um, we, I'm the fourth generation here at Gilchrist Farms. I live right on the home farm where it was originally um, started by my great-grandfather. We're about five miles north of Lucknow, Ontario. We started in the cattle business in 2000 and we currently run about 70 purebred Angus cows and about 100 crossbred cows uh, as well as some cash crop. The purebreds are marketed through uh, two annual sales. We have a fall female production sale which is Thanksgiving Saturday. This year it'll be October the 10th of 2015 and we run it with uh, about 20 other local consigners um, that are all from Ontario here. Uh, they the bull sale that we have is uh, in the first Saturday in April and we also run that with a couple other producers, uh, Rehorsed Farms and Paradise Farms of both of Ontario. Um, and then we have uh, with our commercial cows we, we raise uh, show steers and club calves. So we have a steer sale uh, usually about the second Saturday in December. This year it's going to be December the 12th um, and we have it online with uh, live, uh, live auctions. And I think for young people being in in the industry and, and being able to do lots of other things and not have to worry about calving ease and mothering ability. I think the Angus breed is, is really good from that standpoint and, and still put pounds on, on a carcass when we send them to town. Um, we were seeing cattle now bringing 350 a pound for the for five, six weight cattle, which is really outstanding from a pocketbook standpoint, uh, both from a purebred producer and a commercial producer. And uh, bull sales this past spring have been ex out, outstanding, um, both either been in Western Canada and here in Ontario, uh, it's, it's been really good. I'm Cindy Bosch of Coots, Alberta, Border Butte Angus. With my husband and four-year-old son, Roan, and Dale Bosch, we have 200 head of cows, 120 being purebred, 80 being commercial. Wholesale average, or usually runs on the third Thursday of March, this time being the 19th of March in Medicine Hat at the feeding company. Cecily Fleming, uh, my husband and I, Duncan Fleming. We uh, have Fleming stock farms just west of Granham. We have a purebred Angus herd. We sell private treaty. Um, I would say we are advocates for the beef industry and champions for the Angus industry. Served on the board for uh, two terms. It was a great experience. Um, it, it takes uh, a lot of uh, forethought and forward thinking to position the industry so that you're moving ahead. Um, really uh, uh, ad advise anybody that has um, an interest in uh, policy and moving your industry forward to take a, take a shot at it. Um, and you can invest, uh, invest in the youth, invest in the current breeders, respecting our elders who have gone before us when Angus wasn't quite so cool. Uh, <laughs> but they were always a, a great breed, so yeah, a great experience.